Okay. So here at Healthy Lifestyles, we care a lot about wellness. And if you've been paying attention to our newsletters and our weekly lineups, we've been talking about the dimensions of wellness this month. And so we wanted to talk about what is wellness. And wellness is more than the absence of illness or disease. It is more than physical or nutritional health. Instead, it is the culmination of all an aspect of a person's life. So at Healthy Lifestyles, when we talk about health and wellness, we look at nine specific dimensions. Um, if you have the opportunity, you can take a look at your phone or your computer, and I have those nine dimensions up on the screen. So we like to strip these dimensions down and try and find ways to help each of our participants live up to that dimension's full potential. The nine dimensions of wellness that we focus on are cultural, environmental, financial, intellectual, mental, physical, spiritual, social, and occupational. During our walk today, I'm going to break down each dimension of wellness and how you might see them integrated throughout our program. The first one we're going to start with is cultural wellness. That's the first one you see on the slide on the top left corner. Cultural wellness is the way in which you interact with those who are different than you in terms of race, gender, ethnicity, sexual orientation, age, and customs. It asks you to get out of your comfort zone and experience and talk to those who are not within your normal sphere of existence. It also asks of you to explore and value the differences these groups bring and how we can support and uplift one another. Um, expanding our cultural wellness may look like going to culture celebrations, reading, engaging in literature that explains different perspectives, attending museums and art galleries, and learning more about the histories of the world from all perspectives involved. There are many ways to expand our perspectives and meet and associate with those that are different from us. We simply have to be willing to get outside of our comfort zone. This year, we will be focusing on cultural wellness during our Connect to the Arts program, which starts in February, and our Connect to Your Community, which will be hosted during the summer months. The next one we will talk about is environmental wellness. Environmental wellness is the quality and livability of our surroundings. It looks at things like food, resources, clean water, access to water and clean air. Um, it also looks like the issue of violence and safety in our community, which we don't always think about when it comes to environmental wellness. Um, environmental wellness is one where we can make the biggest difference by making uh, just a few small changes. Specifically in Salt Lake County, we talk a lot about being responsible for safe travel practices and using transportation to limit the valley's air pollution. We also do simple things like recycling and saving water to help with our local environment. When we make all of these small changes, the impact is felt throughout our communities. And to promote environmental wellness, we host a variety of workshops on these topics, as well as we've hosted community service projects. And um, we also have our Park RX program, which we didn't do last year, but we will be bringing back this year. And we're super excited about that. All right, the next one we will be talking about, sorry, it's raining where I'm walking, so 
I'm juggling my notes while trying to not get them soaked at the same time. Okay, so the next one we'll be talking about is financial wellness. Financial wellness is our relationship and ability to manage money. Finances are one of the number one stressors in people's lives, but when we have financial literacy and financial wellness, we know how to budget, how to save, how to invest, how to make money, um, as well as we understand the emotions around money and how finances greatly control how we are feeling. Another portion of financial wellness is understanding what benefits are offered through the county. Um, or if you are, if you use your spouse's um, benefits, uh, what those benefits are, and basically how to make all the benefits that are offered to you work for you. Financial wellness is a topic we cover extensively every year. Um, we've done it in the past. We will continue to do so this year. And um, the best part is you have access to almost all of our financial workshops um, that we've done in the past. So if you go onto our Healthy Lifestyles website, under the workshop and events tab on our website, you can find past financial workshops that have been recorded, um, as well as under the resources tab on our website, um, there's the county financial information um, and different things pertaining to the benefits that the county provides for you. And that all goes in to financial wellness. The next dimension of wellness that we will talk about is intellectual wellness. Um, intellectual wellness is all about challenging and expanding our minds. Studies have shown that those who actively engage in learning um, regularly have a decreased risk in dementia and Alzheimer's, as well as their memory um, and their capability to learn throughout life to stay stronger. Puzzles, reading, engaging conversations, listening to educational podcasts, and taking classes are all great ways to expand our minds and continue in our journey to be lifelong students. Expanding our intellectual wellness can also help us better understand the world around us, become better human beings, and better citizens as we expand our minds outside of our comfort zone. Um, at Healthy Lifestyles, pretty much everything we do falls in line with intellectual wellness as we try and create workshops on topics that you may be unfamiliar with. We try to generate events and activities where you can try different hobbies or different things that you haven't ever had the opportunity to do before. Um, and so, of course, those are great ways to explain our intellectual wellness. And like I mentioned with financial wellness, if you go under our workshops and events tab um, on our website, there's a whole host of workshops that you can go back and you can look through and watch um, whatever piques your interest. The next dimension we will discuss is mental wellness. Um, Mental wellness is one that I think that we're all pretty familiar with, um, sometimes refer referred to as emotional wellness, and it involves looking at our thoughts and feelings. It involves our self-esteem, how we react to both positive and negative situations. It's our resiliency, it's our empathy, and our ability to ask for help. Mental wellness is probably one of the hardest and most fluctuating daily wellness dimensions. With so many outside forces on top of our own personal thoughts, mental wellness takes a lot of hits. Salt Lake County and Healthy Lifestyles recognizes the importance of your mental health. And the county has an employee assistance program. This is called BEST, 
last year it was called Blue Novus, but they have renamed and we rebranded to Vest. Um, and Vest has an app, it's just called Vest. You can also look on our website and see um, the Vest icon, um, but you can download this app and reach out on their app um, to professionals at any time for any issue. Vest also hosts monthly workshops, the last Wednesday of every month on a variety of topics from resiliency um, to changing emotions to a whole bunch of different topics. So that's also a great resource. If you have any questions on how to download Vest or get additional mental health help, please feel free to reach out to um, you can reach out to HR, you can reach out to Vest, or you can, of course, always reach out to us at Healthy Lifestyles, and we will help find a way um, to connect you to the professionals that you need. On top of our county's employee assistance program, Healthy Lifestyles works hard to ensure that mental wellness is discussed and worked on multiple times a month. On top of our mental health workshops, we have evergreen programs, which include our monthly mindful moments, our parenting support group. Um, we are adding a new caregiver support group in line with um, adult and aging services. We have wellness coaching, coaching and suicide prevention classes. We try to offer as many uh, mental wellness opportunities as we can because we know how valuable it is um, and important in building skills around mental wellness. The next topic we will discuss is physical wellness. Physical wellness is the dimension of wellness we tend to be the most familiar with. This includes not only the absence of illness, but our fitness level and our nutritional needs. Physical wellness also includes receiving preventative and necessary medical exams and vaccines, getting enough sleep, and caring for injuries. At Healthy Lifestyles, we have a firm belief in health at every size and take a holistic approach to physical wellness. There is movement and food for everyone, and we believe in a gentle approach to movement and nutrition. To support these claims, we offer regular workshops on these topics, as well as we have several health educators who are certified in yoga, and then our own Sadie May, who's certified as a Zumba instructor, and we offer these classes regularly. As well as evergreen programs, we have our March into May, which is our annual STEPS competition. Um, look forward to marketing there. Our marketing starts in the next couple weeks for March into May. We have our Walk with Ease program. This is a walking program for those with chronic illnesses or who deal with chronic pain. Um, and we host at least one cohort a year, if not a couple of those. We have a diabetes prevention class, an intuitive eating class, and of course, our health coaching. We also recognize the importance of annual physicals and require an annual physical in order to qualify for our cash and HSA incentive. By offering a variety of classes and workshops, our hope is that everyone can find a way to meet their physical wellness goals. The next dimension of wellness we'll discuss is social wellness. Social wellness is all about our human connections and interactions. Strong friendships and relationships are crucial to maintaining all aspects of wellness. To grow this dimension, it's important to develop good communication skills, finding a supportive group in which you can be your authentic self and being active in your community. In Healthy Lifestyles, we try to foster many ways for social wellness. In addition to our workshops and in-person events, we have a variety of additional ways to foster social wellness. We have a parent support group, a caregiver support group, guided hikes and walks, 
Um, those happen every couple weeks throughout the winter and in the summer months, they are weekly. We host pickleball events, corporate games, and major events like our spring fling that happen every April. We also have a mobile wellness unit where we can come out to work sites and offer a variety of workshops, movement activities, and team building opportunities to foster even more social wellness amongst your specific team. So try and find a few activities to go to each year to help you foster your social wellness and connection to your Salt Lake County environment. All right, we have two more. So the next dimension we'll talk about is spiritual wellness. Spiritual wellness is the result of having purpose and meaning in life. It has to do with having a personal philosophy and spending time getting to know yourself and how you want to interact with the outside world. Many scholars have reported that without purpose and meaning in life, the rest of your personal wellness falls apart. To grow your spiritual wellness, mindfulness and meditation is a big part of learning about you and your personal philosophies, as is service to others. Service to others is a big part of spiritual wellness and can help you grow and strengthen your spiritual well-being. Look for our monthly mindful moments, um, as well as our service activities to help aid in your spiritual wellness journey. And then last but not least, we have occupational wellness. Occupational wellness is how personally satisfied and stretched you feel in your employment. A lot of factors go into occupational wellness. Some of you have control. Some of these factors you have control over, like the type of job you do, if it challenges you mentally and pushes you towards your goals and ambitions, and other factors you do not. Um, like satisfaction with your superiors and experiences of discrimination in the workplace. However, despite all the factors put together, occupational wellness is also affected by whether or not your job aligns with your personal beliefs and values. We do better mentally when we feel we are contributing to the society we want to live in, in a beneficial way, at healthy lifestyles, we know that occupational wellness is important and host many workshops on the topic, as well as offering an incentive-driven program to help you feel challenged and excited at work. This year, our KUDOS program will also be returning to help foster relationships and camaraderie here at work. Human resources learning and development is also a great resource for occupational wellness. Their team hosts a variety of trainings both in person and on demand to help enhance occupational wellness. You can learn more about upcoming trainings with HR's Learning Development SharePoint, um, and you can go there to find when they are. In conclusion, once again, here at Healthy Lifestyles, we like to take a holistic approach to wellness and recognize you are more than your body. We want you to feel safe, accepted, and like every aspect of your life matters and can be enriched. We are so grateful for each and every one of you and are excited for 2024's year of connection. We look forward to getting to know each of you a little better and helping you grow in all nine dimensions of wellness. Thank you so much for your time. I hope you all have enjoyed your walk and we look forward to being able to do more workshops like this. If you guys have any questions, please feel free to unmute yourself. I'm gonna pull my phone out of my pocket and then I can go through the chat as well. And then just a reminder, um, this year we are not doing sign-ins for points for workshops like these. So you will log into WellSteps record that you came um, and that's how you will get your points and recognition for this. So 
I'm so excited all of you were able to join me. But hey, are they gonna do that? are they gonna do more of these um WebEx wellnesses with the virtual with the walking? This was so much fun. <laughs> I we definitely hope to be able to do more of these. So yes, that will be the goal and we'll advertise it similar to how we did this time that it'll be virtual with the goal of a walking workshop. Okay, thanks. Yeah. All right. Well, I'm not seeing. I have a. Oh, oh go ahead. I have a really quick question. Um, you say something about points. I didn't sign for this, but I get it last minute. Uh, yep. Should I... yep. So when you log into Wealth Steps and you go under the Rewards tab, you'll be able to mark off that you came to the walking workshop. So oh, there's okay. no sign in process anymore. So you can just mark it off in Wealth Steps. Okay, perfect. Thank you. No problem. All right, well, so glad everyone could join and we'll talk to you guys next time. Thank you. Thanks, Kirsten.